Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacts with beneficiaries and owners of Jan Aushadhi Kendra across the country. Two solar power projects of 70 megawatt each to be established by Assam government to generate green and clean energy. Assam government starts surveillance at land custom stations near international borders to prevent spread of coronavirus. Investment in life cycle of women is an investment in economy, says Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Irani. And in sports, Union Minister Kiran Rijiju inaugurates first ever Khelo India Winter Games at Gulmarg in Jammu and Kashmir. Good evening viewers, welcome to the Northeast News Bulletin. This is Sangeeta Bhattacharji, now with the details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today interacted with the beneficiaries and owners of Jana Aushadhi Kendras across the country through video conferencing. In an interaction on the occasion of Jana Aushadhi Divas, he said that the scheme has fortified every person by providing access to medicines irrespective of their economic status. The Prime Minister said that medicines at these centers are available at a reduced price of around 50 to 90 percent less than the market price. Modi said the government is committed to maintain the best health standards for every citizen. He said government is committed to identify obstacles in achieving the goal of economical treatment and availability of good hospitals and staff remain his priority. Modi urged people to consult doctors in case of any symptoms of fever, cough or sore throat rather than resorting to self-treatment methods. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also interacted with the beneficiaries assembled at Kaliram Medhi Bhavan in Guwahati on the occasion of Jana Aushadhi Divas through video conferencing. The Prime Minister expressed satisfaction that the beneficiaries could take advantage of the scheme. Replying to a question on coronavirus, the Prime Minister urged all not to panic and instead advised taking precaution in this regard. Several dignitaries, including Union Minister of State Food Processing Ramesh Vartheli, MP Queen Ojha, were also present on the occasion. Physically chilling हो गया। तो उसी time से सर मैं सब हमेशा चाहता था कि patient या गरीबों के लिए कुछ किया जाए। तो तीन साल पहले मैं मुझे जनसुधि की ये बारे में पता चला। अभी कुछ देर पहले भारत के प्रधानमंत्री ने कोरोना भारत के बारे में पूरा देश बासियों को उन्होंने कहा। क्योंकि हमारी गुवाहाटी के एक सज्जन ने प्रधानमंत्री से क्वेश्चन किया कि करना वायरस करना वायरस के आ, किस तरह से स्टेप लिया जा रहा है तो भारत के प्रधानमंत्री ने कहा कि पास में बैठने वाला व्यक्ति से भी वायरस आ सकता है इसलिए हमें मास्क लगाना बहुत जरूरी है हाथ the Assam government today signed an agreement to generate solar power in the state. Under this agreement, a 70 megawatt solar plant will be established at North Qatar Hills Autonomous Council and another plant of 70 megawatt at Amguri Solar Park. Addressing the function, Chief Minister Harmanandar Sonwal said that this green and clean energy will benefit the state to a great extent. Several dignitaries, including Chief Executive Member of North Qatar Hills Autonomous Council, Devolal Karlosa, were present on the occasion. to be captured on the camera. <laughs> and here is the exchange of the agreement. I request everyone to kindly join your hands. The Assam government has started surveillance at land custom stations near international borders to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Talking to newspersons in Guwahati today, Minister of State for Health Vijush Hazarika said that 585 passengers have been screened at various airports in the state. Hazarika said that no positive case has been found so far and the government is fully prepared to tackle the situation. The minister said that 127 persons who came in contact with the U.S. citizen who was found positive in Bhutan have been traced. He visited Assam before reaching Bhutan. The minister also said that 200 tourists have also been screened at Kaziranga National Park. He said that 600 beds have been earmarked for quarantine 
quarantine in various hospitals of the state and urged people to avoid mass gatherings. Meanwhile, Union Minister Prakash Javdekar urged people not to panic and take simple preventive steps to protect themselves from COVID-19. In a tweet, Javdekar said that instead of shaking hands, one should follow Namaskar to avoid transmission of contamination. He said in case of any symptoms of fever, cough or sore throat, immediate consultation of doctors should be taken. Javdekar also advised people to avoid going to any large congregations and gatherings. In the Assam Legislative Assembly today, general discussion on the budget 2020-21 began today. Participating in the discussion, leader of opposition Deva Brata Khoikya said that the budget failed to solve some burning issues of the state. He also said that the government has failed to take steps in solving some of the problems of the teachers. Khoikya also urged Speaker Hitendranath Goswami to examine the leaking of budget before its presentation in the House. BJP MLA Padma Hazarika termed the budget people oriented and hoped that the people will benefit from it. He also urged the government to take steps for proper implementation of the schemes. Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Rani today said that investment in the life cycle of women is an investment in the economy. Releasing the status report of women in media in South Asia at a function in New Delhi, Irani lamented that only 1.9% women in media are entitled to get the annual bonus. Highlighting the condition of women in media in the country, she said less than 44% of women got the same amount of the salary in comparison to their male counterparts. The program was also attended by Principal Director General of AIR News, Ira Joshi, and other dignitaries. Manipur Governor Dr. Nazma Heptullah, in a message on the occasion of International Women's Day, appealed for peace and prosperity. She further said that she is celebrating the day since 1975 when it was declared by the United Nations and the declaration carried a message of equality, peace, and development. She also mentioned about women who are suffering from domestic violence, saying, Peace means having peaceful atmosphere at home also. Quality, peace and development. Yes, women have developed in our country and world over very well. Equality, to some extent there is equality, but there are still women who are not equal. There is still struggle. International Women's Day is being celebrated enthusiastically in different parts of Barag Valley. A roundtable conference on women empowerment is currently in progress at Assam University, Silchar. Vice Chancellor in charge, Professor Abhi Gupta, was the chief guest of the function. Several resource persons took part in the discussion on women empowerment and challenges regarding women. In this connection, a documentary on pioneer women of India as well as the world was screened on the occasion in which equality generates when we are equally able to take decisions. So decision making. In Meghalaya, the Geological Survey of India, Shillong celebrated International Women's Day yesterday with a lecture session, which included topics like sexual harassment of women in workplace. During the program, a breast cancer awareness come medical checkup camp was also organized. Meanwhile, Northeastern Hill University Nehu also observed the day with an interactive session where prominent women shared their views on celebrating the day. Women legislator Dr. Amparin Lingdo observed that political empowerment is crucial to uplift women in our society as women are scarcely populated in the political arena. Several resource persons and a large number of students attended the function. In sports news, Union Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports Kiran Rijiju inaugurated the first ever five-day Khelo India Winter Games at Gulmarg today. Jammu and Kashmir's Gulmarg is hosting Khelo India Winter Games 2020 from March 7 to 11th. While addressing the gathering at Gulmarg, the minister said the event is a momentous occasion not only for Jammu and Kashmir but also for the whole nation. He said that such type of sports shall be organized every year at Gulmarg. Rijiju also participated in an interactive session yesterday with the youth at National Integration Camp hosted by Government Physical Education College Gadura Gandharbal. <laughs> और आकर के देखिए कि इतना खूबसूरत है कि आपको महसूस करने के लिए यहां आना पड़ेगा वो आपको टेलीविजन और फोटो में 
इसको चलने वाला नहीं आना चाहिए यहाँ In cricket, Indian women are set to create history on the International Women's Day tomorrow when they take on Australia in the Women's T20 World Cup final at Melbourne. Despite going unbeaten into the final, Indian Eves will have to overcome big match pressure as they will be up against the habitual winners Australia. India topped the group stage and had beaten four-time champions Australia in the tournament opener. Atal Tinkering Lab ATL is a program run by Atal Innovation Mission under Niti Aayog to foster curiosity and innovative mindset in young students across India to encourage research and innovation in schools across the country under the Atal Innovation Mission among the 8878 schools across India that had been selected to set up Atal Tinkering Labs Kendra Vidyalay Borjhar in Assam is one of the schools that have got the opportunity to set up the ATL. It was in 2017 the lab was set up with the help of government funding of rupees 10 lakhs. It has been it has given students the opportunity to think up. The vision of the initiative of ATL is to create 1 million children in India as new tech innovators. In Mizoram the grand celebration of the most popular spring festival of Mizo's Chapchar Kut took place on Friday where Chief Minister Zoram Thanga graced it as Kutpa that is the father of the festival on Thursday the event was <coughs> excuse me on Thursday the event was celebrated at Assam Rifles Ground in Aizawl as pre festival where Art and Culture Minister R Lalzerliana was Kutpa The gaiety and fervor of Chapchar Kut shines through with plenty of mass dancing and music to keep everyone in good spirits. Chapchar Kut is a spring festival celebrated usually in March after completion of most arduous task of jhum farming slash and burn method of cultivation to Christian values. And before we wind up the bulletin a recap of the headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacts with beneficiaries and owners of Jan Aushadhi Kendras across the country. Two solar power projects of 70 megawatt each to be established by Assam government to generate green and clean energy. Assam government starts surveillance at land custom stations near international borders to prevent spread of coronavirus. Investment in life cycle of women is an investment in economy says Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Irani. And in sports Union Minister Kiran Rijiju inaugurates first ever Khelo India Winter Games at Gulmarg in Jammu and Kashmir That brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin thank you for tuning in namaskar